morning. Hi. <laughs> Chewing on I just had a piece of chocolate. <laughs> We've had to try a few starts over in order to get that, so that's why we yeah, didn't come on our, at 10. I think my iPad is full. <laughs> His iPhone didn't work. Mine didn't work. Now we're using Joy. And there was a Joy's. buzz on one of them, so Joy is here. We're very thankful. Yeah. Joy, Never. Tiana, Arrowholt is helping us with this. We're so glad to connect with you again. Yes. Touch point Back. on Wednesday. Back here from, from TCC. Yeah. Yes. Thankful to be back and to see you. And um, be able to see you on Sunday. Yes. You can see we're us looking here now, forward like we to were that. Mentioning, and uh, it's good to see the staff. We have Peter and Linnea Coffin, our youth directors, and Kathy Cooley, our children's ministry director. They were all at our staff Pastor Dean Patro. Today. We were there, got to see them, and some of the ladies. Prayer and Bible study. Yes, I got to hug each one of them. Looking that forward so very much to seeing you. It's been quite a morning. <laughs> I know the Lord has stuff here He yes. wants you to hear yes. and encourage yes. you with. Cause yes. We have a crew at our house right now that are working on. If you saw the the video, the spontaneous one we did last week, we showed you this. This is from one of my tables, our outdoor tables by the lake that we had. And that's about, probably about the size of the hailstone that hit that table because it popped it right out and hit it and popped it out but they're redoing our shingles now today so that was all going on and we actually couldn't get out of our garage <laughs> first <laughs> because they, there yeah. was a fire i tell you they, there's some hispanics that are working on it wow do they have a, do they work they really go yes. do it and they already had most of the shingles i think just an hour off the house and amazing. the garage but anyway we're here and we want to share with you catch you up a little bit uh, we'll do that on Sunday too we'll be sharing some more about Joyce and I will both be sharing on Sunday uh, Tim and Kathy my brother the pumps who will be That's leading good. in worship but Donna we'll Marie are going that. to be having a meal we always yes. look forward to that yes. and uh, so we look we're anticipating that very much but i'm gonna have joyce is gonna start out here yes share. so i want to go back and just start sharing with you when we began the sabbatical i just had a desire i wanted to stay connected in my um personal quiet times in the morning uh, to have a real routine that would be quickening and life-giving to me in the midst of a very different schedule. I mean, three months sabbatical. And so I continued the enjoy the moment. Remember I shared this before we went on sabbatical, just looking each day for something uh, that gives you joy. Um, one thing that I have written down here is this was the morning before the sabbatical began. Our granddaughter Penny, Penelope Pomp, ran over. And what did she ask you, Grandpa? She said, can we plant the tomatoes today, right? Now. Is that what you're talking about? Or now? Yes. <laughs> I, had, I had gotten some from... From Debbie Moose, that Jen, our daughter-in-law's mother, and they were in the garage, and uh, they were should they needed to be planted, but that got us going. Yes, got us going. So he was so blessed. I mean, he that was his enjoy the moment to have his little granddaughter run over, and want to plant his tomatoes now. And so that's part of during this um, time. Steve is a gardener. I think he got that from his father, Jerry. And um, 
he's the vegetable gardener, herbs and vegetables. I tend to the flowers more, but that was his focus. I would say every day, once you start planting, and then what happens? Well, especially with the lack of rain that's been. Yeah, but then there was a freeze. Oh yeah, <laughs> remember that. So yeah, then it was. So I had to replant the peppers. <laughs> so anyway, but he's been very faithful each day during this time of drought to um, water his raised bed gardening, and um, I like seeing him do that. It takes time, but I think. I think he's close to the Lord while he's doing it. It's his time of beginning the day. And I may be sitting by my little table having my quiet time, but he's having a quiet time with the Lord while he's watering his garden. <laughs> yeah. And the garden survived the hail, too. Yes. Pretty, pretty well. Yes. Yes. So anyway, in beginning the sabbatical, I kept up with Enjoy the Moment. I'll share different ones of them too. But I also had the thought before it began, I was like, Lord, I'd love to have you just like give me a scripture, something when I'm first waking up in the morning. And I'll write it down and then I'll just uh, uh, study it and... Uh, the very first morning it was an old hymn, In Sweet Communion, Lord, with Thee I Constantly Abide. My hand Thou holdest in Thine own to keep me near Thy side. And that was from an old, it's an old hymn from um, my parents' Psalter hymnal from their church, Ebenezer Christian Reformed Church in Leota, Minnesota. Yeah, I never heard that and one. And he, he didn't know that one. And so I wrote that, well, actually, I went to the piano, and I played it and sang all the verses. And then when I did that, I saw the hymn, Trust and Obey. And I sang that hymn. I played it on Mom's piano, which is now in our parlor. And I wrote that down for my very first entries um, for when the sabbatical began. But there's something I want to share with you that I wrote in my other journal <laughs> for that same day, May 17, and it was from Grandma's Gleanings. His mother wrote Grandma's Gleanings. And this is what she wrote for that day. And she mentioned the hymn, Trust and Obey. She wrote, Worry is not faith. From Matthew 6.31. From the Message Bible, Matthew 6.34 says, and this is for us right now, give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. Don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. And as I read that this morning, already the um, Hispanic Shinglers, a team of seven, now there's eight there, we were told. Um, working up on our roof, um, I just was thankful to the Lord for professionals who can help people when things happen that we weren't expecting or we didn't want to happen. And... Um, Anyway, I just had that thought. We're not supposed to worry ahead of time which, about any of that stuff. Great, great is his yes, faithfulness. Yes, yes, please God's share that. Faithfulness. that. That's something that over the sabbatical really was a theme that I was seeing is that God is faithful. Yes. 
Yes. And uh, the thing of remembering his faithfulness. That's very but I, important. You know, Joyce mentioned that hymn. What was the name of that? In sweet communion, <sighs> Lord, with thee, well, that, I constantly one, abide. One that I had, that I brought, I brought my hymn book from oh. home this morning. Um, because I kept having that song, Great is Thy Faithfulness. And I love that. I remember that's one that, you know, when we remember, we think of like our parents and grandparents and so forth. Well, this was sung at Joyce's grandfather's funeral. I remember John Quaker. Yes. But uh, maybe it's some of the other ones too. It's yeah. a favorite of many. I remember it. I was going to look in the book, I thought, number 11, and I thought, okay, is it number 11? Sure enough, it is. <laughs> but it's <clears throat> uh, a song that the Lord would impart to you this morning. Yes. And even as you think about how God has helped you in times of trouble in the past, and even when things went ways that were hurtful to you that he still came through over time yes. you saw it that his faithfulness was there even when it looked like it wasn't you know that's how we could have felt uh, with this with the hailstorm when I, was that July that? 26 know, is that the last <laughs> this is our third take on this today so I can't remember exactly if I shared this or not but this is the size of the hailstones that that came down on the 26th of July at our house, and then in the midst of that, you think, "Oh man, this is terrible. This is not, you know, you could think, God, where are you in this? You know, I mean, but well, really, we had a great peace. I, I did, you know, when it, even when it was happening, it was surreal. Maybe some of you have seen the video that Andy, our son, took. We were over at his house because he came and got us. In the basement. We were in the basement because there were tornadoes around too. With these huge balls, you know, like this size of ice falling in the lake. I mean, it just, and then the splashes. And it was amazing. But even in that, you know, Joyce and I had just been talking about how we needed, well, Dana told, told us, Dane Johnson had told us that we would need to be reshingling our roof. And one section of it, you know, for sure. We were, and we thought, well, we'll do one section at a time, and how can we do it? And so anyway, right now it's getting reshingled, and we're so thankful for that, that good came out of what we thought was so yeah. bad. The good came out of it, but <clears throat> great is thy faithfulness. O oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not, Thy compassions they fail not. As Thou hast been, Thou forever will be. Great is Thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed thy hand has provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord unto Summer and winter and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, yes. mercy, and love. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thy own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today 
and Bright Hope. Bright Hope. Blessings are mine. Blessings all mine. Thank you, Lord. Right now, Father, we do. We thank you for your great faithfulness for each one of us. Never failing love. Never failing presence. You're always faithful helper. We thank you right now. We have such thankful, thankful. say, why did you start crying? I have the slightest idea, <laughs> except, well, it's God, you know, and he's, you know, he's here with us, he's there with you, don't let the enemy deceive you, that was the other thing that the, mm. that the Lord was teaching me, he said, many people are in deception, and uh, when I come back, that was something that would need that to, be, to be addressing, what is deception? It's thinking something that is true when it isn't true. Mm. That's deception. And that's what the enemy does. It's a lie from the enemy. That's what he does. That's, that's the only way he can work is through lies. When truth comes forth, he's lost. Yeah. He's a loser. But see, that's the faithfulness that God has. He is faithful to his word. I yes. think of that song that Dan Woodward wrote, Faithful, mm -hmm. and I won't try to sing that one. Probably start crying again. <laughs> faithful, God is faithful. Yes. He is faithful to his word. Yes. Period. You know, that's yes. what it is. Absolutely. The, you know, the word says that heaven and earth will pass away, but God's worth, word, his word, will never pass away. His word. That's right. what we need to be founded on. And That's in these right. days that we're living in, I had a text from somebody, was it yesterday? This world needs, we need to be praying for our world, you know, and the things that are going on in it. We know that. We know it's true. There are a lot of things, and a lot of things that are bringing a lot of pressure onto people right now. All the, anything from things going on in, like, after, Afghanistan, or to the COVID and COVID variants, to even like in our areas of the country, the drought, you know, that that is here, and so forth. What do we do? We look to the Lord, because He is yes. faithful. There's a scripture I'll share, and then turn it back to Joyce again. This is Deuteronomy 7, verse 9. <clears throat> it says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. And then it's the faithful God. Yes. Know that your God is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant. And we are in covenant with him through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're in covenant with God. Who keeps covenant and steadfast love. Mm -hmm. That's that covenant love yeah. of God. I said in the Hebrew. With those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. To a thousand generations. And you know when we do miss it, the blood of Jesus is there. And we can call on God for his forgiveness. So his faithfulness is there. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I'm just being reminded right now as Steve was sharing about God's faithfulness. This morning when I woke up, I woke up extra early because I knew the roofers were going to come very early. And it was like, oh Lord, I don't have anything for them. We just got back from a trip. Uh, to South Dakota, I didn't even have, I didn't have bottled water, 
I didn't have anything baked. I didn't have You didn't anything. have Joy bake any cookies. No, I didn't even <laughs> ask Joy, can you bake cookies for me for these guys? I didn't know how many guys were coming. And now I just think of that too. We do have Spanish resources here on the library shelves. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I even texted Andrew. I said, and we, and I don't speak Spanish at all. Steve, very little. So I even texted Andrew. I said, is there some way we can pray for them for safety before they go on the roof and just say, God bless you. And, um, cause he speaks more Spanish. Yes. Yeah. Cause he speaks Andrew our, speaks. our son, in -law, Andrew Airholtz does. But it happened so fast. The trucks pulled up. They were like monkeys. All of a sudden, they're up on all of our roofs. And the old shingles are flying off onto the tarps below. And it was just like, okay, this didn't happen. I mean, I, I have nothing. I, I went out when they first came. I said, welcome. They didn't even understand it. I mean, they didn't. They just kind of looked. They didn't know what I had said. So... Later, we get to, oh, and then as we had to leave to come to staff meeting, we had to get out of our door. Well, it was a danger zone. There's shingles flying off the edges everywhere. No matter which door we would have gone out of. So you must have hollered or said something. Did they stop them? Oh, I just said we're coming through. Or, well, yeah. So anyway, um, we, yeah, shingles were in front of the garage, so they had to move those for us to back up. But we get to church for the staff meeting, and our dear, sweet Susie Jones comes through the door, and she had a bakery box filled with, Joy, what kind of pastries are those? They got jelly in them. Can you show them to them? I think there's for sure a dozen of them. A dozen of these in a in a bakery box, and she and she, I brought them into our staff meeting. Well, we're sitting there, and we told the people they could have one. No one took one. And pretty soon, Steve looks at me. He says, "I think that's meant for our shinglers." <laughs> and just now, I was sitting here, and I thought, "Lord, you provided. We get to go back now." Um, I still can't speak any more Spanish to them, but we're going to be able to give them this box of pastries. And I think they're the kind that they're going to like. <laughs> so, but then also Andrew called me when we were in the staff meeting. He says, Joyce, I went over to get some cardboard to use at our house from your garage. And the foreman drove up, who we didn't get to meet. He says he speaks and understands English. So everything that you wanted me to share with the seven other workers, I was able to share with him and he communicated it to them, including we wanted them to be invited to the Hispanic meal that Adon and Maria cook here at church this coming Sunday after church. So he relayed all of that. So everything that was in my heart, and I couldn't do it, it got done. And just now, as you were sharing, great so is this it doesn't rain, they may be there. So yeah, yeah, they said if it rains Friday or Saturday, they'll be going back to their homes yeah. in We are praying for rain. Minneapolis. And Judy followed she right away said, We want the rain. <laughs> yes, yes, we want do. the rain. So anyway, that's all I have to share so right now. That's, you know, that's what's on our hearts today. We'll be sharing with you more on Sunday. Lots, yeah. Yeah, on Sunday some more. But um, we do have a few announcements. Let's see if I can get those. Here they are. Um, you want me to read them? I guess I already mentioned that Tim and Kathy will be leading worship on Sunday. Uh, Joyce and I will be sharing about our sabbatical and we'll bring, bring a message from the Word. Donna Maria will have the meal, 10 o'clock. Um, actually, 6 o'clock tonight, the youth group will be meeting. 
And then 6.30, the Kairos Gathering, led by Tim and Kathy, that's tonight. Um, a memorial service for Ken Reynolds will be held here at the church on August 28th at 2 o'clock with visitation at 1 o'clock. I will be officiating at that service. For giving to QCC, you can do it on by mail to Post Office Box 67, Ten Strike, Minnesota 56683, or online at our QCC website, which is tenstrikechurch.com. Uh, and you can listen to the messages on Sound. You can see them. On YouTube, then also you can go to soundcloud.com slash 10 church and hear the audio of the services. So Lord, we just pray yes. for everybody that's yes, watching or listening Thank today. You, we pray that you would impart to them as they remember how you're, you've been with them in their lives in yes. the past yes. of your faithfulness. Mm -hmm. and that you are with us, right with us, and yes. we want to stay close in our yes. walk with you. We do. And we trust you. Mm -hmm. We believe in you. Mm -hmm. And we know that you're working all things together for good. Yes. We are called according to your purpose, and we love you, Lord. Yes, we love you. I pray your blessing, your favor, your protection, your provision, your direction over each one that's watching. Mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Goodbye. Bye. See we love Sunday. you. <laughs> Blessings.